Felix, also known as DJ Lacuna. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a piano DJ, fairly new. I've been in the game for about six months now, but so far, so good. My name's Elmi. Um, I'm from London. I'm a producer. Um, uh, I've been producing for about over 10 years. My name is Kicks the Vibe. I'm a producer from Manchester, representing UK Yanos. My name is Sarah. I'm a producer, artist, and a DJ. Yeah, my name is Grousey Presents, and I am from the UK, from South London. Uh, real name, Diti Robulawayo, from Botswana. I'm a Jordan Brit boy. Uh, stage name, Chad Flawless. Uh, my name is Tuj. I'm a DJ from Watford, but I reside in Manchester and I am a DJ for Pi Radio. Let's say that I'll call it. Let's say a different chord. Different chord? Okay. Cool, isn't it? So try to do it. Did you get it? No, 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 the last one. My piano is a spiritual sound that takes you into places where no one else can go. Um, my piano is one of them sounds that you can take it from left to right. It takes you to a, a place where it's smooth, a place where it's rough, take you to the underground, take you overground. I'm a piano is a genre from South Africa. Hey, people argue where it came from exactly, but that's another story for another day. It's a genre from South Africa, a genre that is fused with a bit of deep house, Bacardi, Reggae, nowadays, and other sounds from olden times in Southern Africa. It's a beautiful genre, my favorite genre. Uh, it's a sound that's growing very fast in the UK and internationally at the moment, led by mainly by people who back home. It's one of a kind because it's a producer industry, so it's a different type of genre. Well, I'm a piano is like, it's a connection for me to my roots. So I, I didn't grow up here, I grew up in Zim, Botswana, like I was always moving around in Africa. And like, when I hear I'm a piano, I remember home. It's a connection, um, I feel, I feel the most free, I'd say, when I'm listening to our piano. Yeah. To me, I'm a piano is like motivation music. That's how I describe it. For me, it's like, I, I believe it's the the real sound of Africa, personally. I'm Nigerian, but I just really, when I, when I started listening to it, I really felt it in my heart, like, nah, this is real African sound, you feel me? I'm a piano to me is, it's a, it's a vibe in itself. It's a whole vibe in itself. And um, like, I've tried to play with it a lot, but I'm trying to grab that sound. That's why I came here today, because I want to see if I can really learn and grow off that sound and vibe with everyone and learn more about the sound as well. Um, because it's like it's an energy that is that's something you experience that at parties, something like the live events, you know, um, and it's not something that you can kind of just like. It's not it's something you more it's something more you experience more so than the more than the more than like kind of like uh, what's the word? Uh, something you can just something you vibe to, but with people as well. It says it's, it's, it's that if that's if that's if that's if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Ama Piano is a fusion of sounds that came from soulful music, soulful house music and deep house music. There was even tech at some point because I grew up listening to that, um, you know, around the eras of uh, the, the, the shows, the shows that were thrown in December. Especially those shows, you know, end of year, you have um, artists from South Africa coming and they're performing Black Coffee, uh, Black Motion, you have all these big house artists coming in and some of them are playing soulful. So it's a mixture of all those genres and coming together with other elements that are fused into it, other sounds, other instruments because you, you have different types of ama piano, you know, Harvard, private school, all that. Today I want to know the, the, the studio process, so from starting to ending a, a, a track, I want to 
Mm, what else do I want? From this experience, I also... It's mainly just that, that, that process, the studio process, and just everything that it entails, you know? I just want to know how it starts, what, the, how you get your lyrics, how you get your melodies, and, you know, the process, the creative process. I'm a creative myself, you know, so I love to see someone else in their own zone just being creative, do you know? I think the three things I'd like to gain from today is just um, more, more knowledge on the history of the sound. I feel like because I discovered it like pretty soon and the drummer's been around for quite a while. It's still young, so just more on the history and then just how it just how it's made more than anything as well. So it's obviously people just use loops and stuff nowadays or just remixes of songs that have already been out. So learning from someone who sort of pioneered the production and champions the sound at the moment would be very good as well. And just obviously it's a, it's a rooted genre down in Africa. So knowing people, getting to meet more people who do it in the UK and want to represent the sound, I think it'd be really good for my network as well. Out of today's session, um, I plan on gaining some DJing knowledge, um, producing knowledge, and I just, I just want to see the process, you know, DJ and my producer like create some amazing emotional songs. And, you know, I like, I like that about music when when there's emotion to it, I feel like it makes it more real. So I just want to be in that presence, you know, in the atmosphere. Yeah. I started listening to my piano in 2018. So um, it was via YouTube. There were YouTube channels that were dropping. Actually, I think it's 2017. There were YouTube channels that were dropping a lot of my piano at that time. I fell in love with Gaps at this mall. And yeah, I can say from when I started hearing the sound, I wanted to produce it. So as a result, I started producing, I think it was in 2018, and the rest was history. And as a result, when you love something, you want to delve deeper into it. So I'm one of those, uh, sometimes people call me and I'm a piano connoisseur, because I listen to all different types of departments. I have friends uh, that went to uh, South Africa, and they were telling me about this whole thing, whole sound that's coming out of South Africa. And, I'm, and I was like, what sound is this? Uh, and they played it for me, and I was like, I was like, this is, and this was fresh. This is back in, this is I can't remember. This is about about two, two, about two, beginning of lockdown, and it wasn't so big over in UK, but it was already prep like bigger in South Africa. And um, someone sent me, they sent me songs, sent me like you know lists of artists at the time, and then it started getting more, it started getting more, more. Uh, what's the word? Um, got more more bigger in, in UK and then when you start going to uh, when, the, when the lockdowns have gone down uh, the, everyone was trying to get to the parties so um, yeah that's how, that's how I found out about it. I found out about it through friend, friends that went to South Africa for a holiday um, so growing up I grew up like in a very strict African house like it was very churchy and um, there was like a party next door and I had never been to a party in like I heard this this one song, Tandolam, the but like back then it was like gum, but like it got got slower and like the slower it got, it reminded me of that sound. So I'd say that one wedding song. Okay, so with with Amma piano music, I feel like you might not even have lyrics on it, but something about it really like resonates within. Do you know what I mean? And it's like the sounds, the bass line, the melodies. The when you do have lyrics, the lyrics are just something about. I don't even understand the language but it touches me differently, do you know what I mean? For me, like I said, it's motivation music, do you know? Like, you're feeling upset, put on some other piano. You're feeling happy, put on some other piano. You need some motivation, put on some other piano. It works for every single situation. discover I'm a piano I actually started off with people like DJ Gagnani excuse me if I'm not saying it properly but I started off with, with him and like the black coffees and after from there I actually went deeper and deeper into a proper I'm a piano sound so before I'll say it was more of like a afro house and as the years have gone on it's gone deeper and deeper into I'm a piano started producing in 2018 producing I only focus on I'm a piano so we've been pushing this out for like three four years now that's how it starts? Yeah. Okay. 
So, okay, let me, let me, let me, before we listen to it again, let me talk about, uh, mostly when we do like, when you do tracks, we, all, we always have to think of that 16 or 32 bars. I don't know you call it. It's 16. What? Wait, it's 16. Heck. Yeah, it's 16. It's 16 bars, right? That 16 bars is important for us DJs to mix, you know? So we don't want any synthesizer or we just want drums. Why we want drums? Because of the other song is still playing bass and whatever and whatever. So, yeah. So there's a certain cue that you always, once you miss it, you will mix the song yeah. properly. Why eat one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So when you start, when you make a beat, you have to like at least for for the first 16 bars, just make drums only. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you can put your string or your bass or your your thing. It must not start with like with a string. Yeah. It can start with snares and stuff, but the the music like the the music like the notes and stuff, the key. Because also it must not clash with the other song. Because when you mix, because yeah. now the, this song is ending now, now you just cued where, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's going to end. So now immediately when this, this song chords like end or bass line or whatever, this one must start. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But I'll show you, I'll show you when we like kind of like make a, a beat or something. Sure. But make sure every time when you make it so that because when it's like that, the DJ won't kind of like play. Just because of that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A yeah. DJ won't, like I won't play it because I won't... I want to mess up I won't, it. Yeah, yeah, I won't mix it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started off managing before actually I was producing because I wanted to see DJs get an opportunity. The problem that we always had, is particularly in Manchester, was that nobody wanted to play on my piano because they said it was too slow. And it took a long time for people to catch on, but I fell in love with the sound. I fell in love with the way that the genre is run by itself, you know, the spirit of, of Ubuntu that is within my piano because everyone puts everyone on. Uh, I started producing my piano, like I said, in 2018. I've been producing for about three years now. Um, seriously producing for two years. Uh, we started building a studio in my house. I ran a, a, we call it a stable, a label right now called UK Yanos, where we've got three producers. Like I said, my piano is a producer industry. It's run by the producers, so it's important to give other people opportunities. So I'm working with Chuck Flawless, we've got people like Marosta and our team, Squad Nine, Show Show the Ghost. The family is sort of growing. Yeah, we've got three producers and two vocalists at the moment. But yeah, I've been pushing. Recently, I'm dropping an album actually next month on the 4th of April. It's called The Rise of the UK Yano. It's a third and track album. Some of the singles have already dropped, like Wet Bodies, Gentleman, Via Disco, King of the Northern Sun, and so forth. So yeah, man, for me, it's all about pushing the sound. Like we always say, it's PPP, pushing piano properly. Mm. Yeah, and making sure that the sound goes international. I'm a piano, is for everyone, you understand? So it's nice to see the sound growing and for me to be here today to experience this. Like I was saying to a few people before, it's been my dream. For me, as a producer, it's like a young boy who meets Ronaldo or Messi. Understand, so it's an opportunity for me to meet somebody that I really respect and somebody that I really look up to, and spend time with them and learn. So I, it's like I feel like I pay for a, a master's course yeah, in management or something like that. I thank Pirate and everyone for giving us the opportunity, because I don't think I would have had this opportunity if it wasn't for this. <laughs> Some of the three things that I want to learn today is like um, there are the studio environment that people vibe to, and there's a lot of collaborative uh, energies that everyone's everyone's vibing with like right now. And I don't know, I'm I've been to my own studios and I haven't gone outside the box, haven't explored and experimented as much. So first, there's a fresh new perspective on things. Two, um, also the possibility of like connecting with other people uh that i don't that i'm not that i don't that i don't know uh till today uh and um some of the less tangible things that you get from being in a studio with people certain things like say the certain um studio experiences that you get especially in studios like metropolis studios uh you don't you won't get nothing you'll get like a 
you don't get that in like kind of like the same kind of experience in other studios that you have like you know just down or like in the bedroom producers because most of us are probably bedroom producers you know so um getting to go up, go in the studio with with um all the all the outdoor gear and all the analog gear you know um and then also divide the energy yeah that's what i pretty want to experience today <laughs> As an artist, I make like um, trap, more like melodic trap music, but um, I'm trying to branch into the I'm a piano side. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd basically say like I'm a, I'm a rock star. <laughs> Mapamezo to me, he's a goat making so many songs for people to play, be a part of Scorpion Kings, bringing the duo together. It's been an amazing experience and to see him do what he's doing right now and obviously move him with the time as well, it's amazing. So that's why he's a goat to me. Um, personally for me, I aim to gain another side of the spiritual realm. Um, he has been creating for such a long time in different genres. So for me, I just want to know why is it so spiritual? What's making this genre what it is right now? Why is it moving so quickly? Why are people adapting to the sound and moving with the times as well? What am I looking to bring to the table? Yeah, okay, I'll ask you a question. What do you bring to the table? <laughs> All right, cool. Right, so, oh, what I'm, so my guy, what are you bringing to the table? So bro? what I'm bringing to the table right now is a UK producer making a map piano and bringing people together. Right now we have a genre that's really uprising right now, a lot of people. And in SA, it's doing a lot, but we need to do the same thing over here. So I am Grazi Presents, and I am a Mapiano. It was, uh, I can say it was fate, because I started uh, working with the UK Anos team about a few months ago, and they are really interested in the Mapiano scene. They are really rooted in the shows that are hosted, and they are really working with the, 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 the promoters and DJs to really keep a tight-knit uh, community whereby everyone is able to express themselves. So they heard me and they gave me a platform to express myself and I just want to be able to do that, you know, and also learn from having the experience to be around people who are pa ahead of you. God. I found out about the workshop through one of my friends. Um, she screenshotted it and she kind of sent it to me and she was like, I feel like this opportunity is something that you grow out of. And yeah, I basically bought like the ticket ASAP. So yeah. Um, so in terms of music, I don't have anything out at the moment, but um, I'm dropping a mixtape very soon. So um, if, you're, if you're interested in that, uh, check out my Instagram, underscore dot Cerro, C-E-R-R-O, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I'm not going to extend the whole thing. I'm making a video. I don't know. What we'll do, if anything, we'll run with the course for now. Yeah. Um, so, for me in general, I feel like everything that I came in looking for, I basically found it. Like, um, it was a good opportunity to network with other creatives, and it was just, it was a vibe. It was lit. <laughs> yeah, like, it was mad chill. Like, He's mad cool, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it was lit, I can't lie. Yeah, like, um, obviously coming from him, you know what I mean? Like, he's got like major tracks out. Um, the feedback that he, he gave me was like very beneficial because it helped me um, build on my craft, you know what I'm saying? Um, the song that we just created now is a completely different vibe, but at the same time, I was able to stick to myself, which is some good advice that he gave me. So yeah, it was lit. Now, I'll 100% do it again, like, it's, it's a vibe, like, you know, I like I like creative creativity, and this is very it's very creative. It's a big chance for me, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Okay, cool. So my snap is Cerro C E R R O triple one. Um, Instagram underscore dot Cerro. TikTok, just search Cerro, you'll find me. Calm. Today has been fantastic, man. I've dreamt about this so many times and prayed about it, and it's actually happened, but I saw. 
for me personally, bro, I'm leaving the movie. Yeah, I had a great experience today. We came here, produced a track Nana with Bori, listened to my music, played a screwdriver. Hey, Bori was giving feedback, you know, that was there. Yeah, yeah, so I learned a lot. I come here to learn to mix, you understand? I pay money to come here to learn, like a school. So yeah, it gave me some hints and tips about my mixing. And also we managed to do a track, bro, you know, show me how to make percussion like coolie and screw and stuff like that, ski type. Yeah, bro, it's been a vibe. Uh, I met Herc today, all of his producers. Hey, perfect. I'm the happiest man alive. How about that? Yes, It's a pleasure, guys. I'm so happy and I'm really excited. I feel like in my career, this is something I've been dreaming about all the time. So to be here and have this experience and meet the man himself and touch his hand, bro. It means a lot for me personally, bro. I don't want to start crying. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you follow me on all socials. It kicks the vibe on everything. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Snapchat is a bit on the lowdown, you understand? Yeah, follow me. I'm gonna be dropping a new album next month. It's called The Rise of the UK Yanos. Most of the singles are already available on digital platforms. That's kicks the vibe. Cakes the vibe. Show sure, show sure, man. It's a UK Yanos, you know? We keep pushing the sound. Big up Pi Radio and Indulge. Easy. It's a UK. Yeah, so today was like was a really beneficial day, you get me? It was good being around the big man himself, you get me? It was good being around like-minded creatives that just all share that same passion, do you know what I mean? And obviously for me as a DJ, it's nice to understand their process because when it comes to mixing music, I feel like it will only get better, do you get what I'm saying? So it was an amazing day. Big up Pi Radio, big up Indulge. Um, you can catch me on Instagram, that's DJ Lacuna, L-A-C-U-N-A. And you can catch me on YouTube, Lacuna, with a full stop on the end. So just Lacuna, full stop, yeah? And yeah, love for today.